Hello YouTube, this is Sniper's End with another requested video, the MP5K with, uh, I don't know, something else. Marathon Lightweight and Ninja, I believe. Now, the MP5, it's a good gun, but, uh, I absolutely can't stand not having stopping power, and, and that's not just when it comes to the MP5, it's everything. Cold-blooded hardline, I don't give a shit. I need cold-blooded or else I'll suck. Unless I'm in hardcore. But then again, I fucking hate hardcore, so it really doesn't matter. So as you can see here, I'm on Skid Row. You know, it's, it's, it's very weird on Skid Row. Lately, I have been absolutely dreading every time Skid Row pops up. Because all that happens are people camp, camp, camp. They camp on the stairs. They camp on the freaking... Let me see here. They camp on the stairs. They camp in that little hole. They camp downstairs. They camp the other stairs. They will camp every possible place on the freaking map. And if you face guys that are half good and they start to successfully camp, then you're boned. You are completely freaking boned, my friend. You might as well leave the game before you screw up your KD ratio. That is, if you care about it. But yeah, as you can see here, bam. Pretty funny, in my opinion. Just kind of try and run like hell, and as you can see, I fail. I don't know why I decided to watch the kill cam there. I usually don't watch the kill cams. Anyway, as you can see here, I'm doing okay at the moment. By the end of the video, I'll be doing pretty good if I remember correctly. It's been I've I actually commented this video quite a while after I uh, made it. And I already ran out of things to talk about. Sorry, YouTube. Got a nice little. Almost double man spray. See, this is what I'm talking about. I'm camping them. It's all you can do on this map. If you don't start camping, they'll start camping and you'll get your ass whipped. And, uh, I've said it many, many times before, but I don't care how many times I have to say it. I hate flash grenades. These guys really were bad. I can't believe that I actually kicked their ass with a MP5 that did not... That was not, uh... I don't know. MP5 without stopping power. Yo, know, personally, I like the MP5 with, uh... With stopping power, this thing really isn't that bad. I don't think I've ever made a video of me using the regular MP5. It's, uh... I know I've made an MP... I think I've made two akimbo MP5 videos, but I don't think I've ever made a regular MP5 video. As you can see here, I run out of ammo, and I start using an M16. Really, I'm not that bad with, uh, with, uh, burst weapons. I had a, uh, today I was recording a FAMAS thermal video, and I actually went... 44 and uh, 13 with the FAMAS red dot sight. Now as you can see here, I'm in an epic battle to get my care package. I, when something like that happens, I don't care if they kill me. I just want my freaking care package. As I've said before, I the worst thing that can happen to me is losing a care package. I absolutely hate it. The worst thing I've ever actually lost, though, was a, uh... I think I may have lost a Pavlo once. I definitely have never lost a Chopper Gun or an AC-130 or an EMP. I've only gotten, like, six EMPs through care packages anyway. It's a funny thing about EMPs and care packages. I should have the EMP emblem, but I don't, just because of the simple fact I prestiged. Pretty sh I got six EMP, maybe seven EMPs this prestige, and before I prestige, I think I may have gotten two or three. I, I honestly don't think they should reset anything once they, once you prestige. 
Oh, I will be returning to fight that guy many, many times. Epic battle ensues with that guy. You gotta love people who don't check their corners. Like me, of course. And here I am trying to fight this guy again. I just decided to get the hell out of there before I could get killed. And he decides to chase after me. And another one decides to chase after me. I just I start running around the corner shooting because I know that guy is an idiot rusher. Here's yet another one. They they just keep coming at me at, at, right here. They're friggin' retards. I decided to hoof it out of there so I can call in my care package. I try and get a few throwing knives, throwing knife kills this video just because of the sheer fact I know they're cool and I know people, uh, you know, when you request the throwing knife to be as part of a class, I'm pretty sure people expect you to use it. So that's why I always try and use things that are requested specifically every now and then. When it comes to secondary weapons that are requested, though, I just use them the whole video. Like today, I, I had an AA-12 request, and even though I was on freaking derail, I used the AA-12 the entire video. It actually turned out pretty good, but that's probably just because I camped the entire thing. And right there, I got stuck. That is one of my uh, most hated things, is getting stuck. And right there, I get double teamed. Obviously, part of this is my fault, but I always like to uh, deflect the blame onto something else. So so far, what I thought what I thought of this class when I used it was uh, I didn't like it. I, I this was my fourth attempt at using this MP5, and the only reason I was able to do good with it was because it was on Skid Row, the most close quarters map besides freaking rust so uh yeah it's really not that good it the mp5 itself with stopping power isn't bad but uh marathon lightweight and ninja i i honestly don't see why you would ever use it unless you were in like capture the flag now that now that's not a bad this actually wouldn't be a bad class for capture the flag in my opinion but uh then again, I'm not really a runner, so it wouldn't be that good for me even if I did try and play capture the flag with it. You know, in every, uh, in every map, I have a few designated places to call in care packages so that they don't get stolen. And uh, on this map, that was one of them. And then the other one is on the stairs that I called it in on earlier in the video. And then... Sometimes I'll do it on that one spot that I almost got it stolen. You know, like that was the stairs. I don't know. In the playground. Yeah, sometimes I'll, sometimes I'll get up into the uh, place and then get on the playground. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> Now right here, this is something that I don't normally do, but uh, I thought it would be useful because I knew that they would probably be coming for me. I don't know, for some reason, I just never did do that. I used to play with the clan, and I had smokes, but I never used them. That was probably the, I don't know, third time I ever actually tried that specific strategy. Oh boy, right there, there was no way out. I had a nade there that was about to blow on me and I had to run, so I just decided to jump outside. I could have tried to turn around, but I, I'm pretty sure I was screwed there. Now this was stupid of me to try and run towards that flag. You should never try and run towards that flag. 
I got in extremely lucky that no one was camping up there today. So they will always camp up there. <laughs> oh. Oh boy. Gotta love getting spawn killed like that. Alright, I'm just gonna cut this commentary short right now, because this video is just under 11 minutes. And I don't want the commentary to make it over 11 minutes. So, uh, I'm, I hope you all enjoyed this video.